Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the 13 serious side effects of having low cholesterol. Not high cholesterol, but low cholesterol. Now there's been a huge focus of the medical profession putting attention on this deadly, dangerous, high cholesterol. But there's no attention on low cholesterol. Check this out. These are the side effects of low cholesterol. Number one, increased risk of getting cancer. Number two, anemia. Number three, increased risk of getting a stroke. Number four, adrenal failure. Why? Because the adrenal hormones need cholesterol. The main hormones from the adrenal, especially cortisol, is built out of cholesterol. So if you starve it, it doesn't have any food or building blocks to build up those hormones. Number five, increase your chance of getting infections because the immune system needs cholesterol. Number six, increasing your susceptibility to getting viruses. Again, the immune system needs cholesterol. Number seven, increase death rate from all causes. And I'm not kidding. I'm going to put a link down below. You have to check this out. Number eight, chronic inflammation. Number nine, chronic liver disease. Number 10, depression. Number 11, increase your risk from respiratory disease. Number 12, aortic dissection. You know what that is? The aorta, the main blood vessel that goes to the heart, actually develops a tear from low cholesterol. Of course, you're going to bleed to death if that happens. Number 13, low cholesterol can predispose the critically ill to sepsis. That's blood poisoning and adrenal failure. Now, recently I stumbled on this data because I was doing some research on certain opinions that everyone agreed to, you know, especially mainstream traditional agreements. And most of the medical profession does agree that cholesterol is bad and we need to reduce it. Okay. So anytime you get an opinion that everyone knows or everyone agrees, I'm, I'm suspect. So you pull a string and then we look at the opposite viewpoint. And here we have massive dangers of having low cholesterol. Now the question is what is considered low cholesterol? Okay. Less than 160. Incredible. High cholesterol is anything over 200, but less than 160. When I was in practice, do you know how many people had cholesterol way lower than 160? The facts are that high cholesterol is not dangerous. Cholesterol itself is made by your body, but it's not the villain. It's the band-aid that heals the artery wall that becomes damaged from the high sugar and the high insulin. Now I put a link down below of a video that I did on an interesting study that showed if you have low cholesterol, you have a one out of a thousand chance of getting a heart attack. Okay. But if you have high cholesterol, it goes to two out of a thousand. Now, if you go from one to two, that's a hundred percent increase. So if I told you, you had a hundred percent increased chance of getting a heart attack, that'd probably freak you out and you probably take the medication, right? Well, these are fractions. They're not whole numbers. So going from one, 1000 to two, 1000 is really only 0.1%. It's one tenth of 1% chance of getting an actual heart attack. That's so insignificant, but that's what a lot of people are using uh, as the scare tactics for getting people on medication. When in reality, they should use the word rate, not risk factors, because there's no legal definition of the word risk. Okay. Again, cholesterol is there to help build hormones, build cellular membranes. That's why when you lose that function, you, you increase a chance of getting infection and viruses, and also uh, the brain and nervous system need cholesterol. Your immune system needs cholesterol. The bile that helps you extract fat soluble vitamins from the food, you need cholesterol from that. So the truth is that cholesterol is important and low cholesterol is actually way more dangerous than high cholesterol. Thanks for watching.